Hello everyone, welcome to our channel, Houston DIY. My name is Ben, this is Oliver. Welcome to our workshop slash gym slash studio. We'll film all our videos in this very space. In this video, we will be making our very own power rack. Oh yeah. Boom. <laughs> Welcome to the workshop slash uh, gym, studio, everything, storage, the lot. Uh, want to give you a little bit of insight where we're building the power rack, where the structure will be. So let me flip round and give you a little bit of insight where it's going. There's all of us stood right there where it's going to be. We're going to build a nice big um, power rack there, just over about 2.2 meters high, just so we're just, just touching the ceiling around here. Um, and then obviously it gives a little bit of room, hopefully, to do uh, pull-ups. Oliver can do pull-ups about 500 at a time, can't you, Oliver? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So, Oliver, what's our first thing we need to do? The first thing that we need to do is we have 16 pieces of wood and we need to glue and screw them all together. Excellent. So just to let everyone know, I've got some 2.4 metre wood here. Um, kiln dried c16 rated uh, timber internal timber hopefully they're going to be strong enough we couldn't get any four before timber so we're going to like oliver just said there we're going to um screw glue clamp it all together make some nice big piece of wood out we oliver yeah oliver what glue are we going to use gorilla wood glue awesome and what is gorilla wood glue as strong as Gorillas! <laughs> so obviously run through where we're going to build the power rack. Um, showing you how tall it's going to be. Um, what we want to do is just run through the materials we're using for this build. In case you want to build your own power rack. I'll give you some ideas for your own power rack. So what we'll do, we'll flip round to our build engineer, Oliver. And he'll run through the materials we're using. So Oliver, what have we got first? What's in the Wicks. Wood from Wicks, excellent. So that's 2.4 metre internal wood, as we mentioned before. Uh, what's, up what's up next, Oliver? Heavy duty angle brackets. Heavy duty angle brackets. And what are they for, Oliver? To put the wood together so it's super duper strong. Super duper strong. And we got them from Screwfix as well. They're just some heavy duty angle brackets, as um, Oliver mentioned there. So we've seen this before, but watch this, Oliver. What's next? Gorilla glue. And Gorilla glue is as strong as? Gorillas! <laughs> Excellent. And obviously to screw everything together, what are we using, Oliver? Screw some screw fix. Screw some screw fix. Let's have a look, put that down. So we've got some 5x80mm eight mil, eight, screws and 5x70mm screws. So obviously we'll probably use a 70mm to go through fixing the brackets and the 80mm to kind of connect the wood together at all angles. Excellent. Thank you for that, Oliver. Next up, we'll start building. Uh, and the first step, as Oliver mentioned, will be to Oliver. Tell us in a second. What are you doing first, Oliver? Uh, what are we doing? The first step is Oliver. We're and screwing the wood together. It is excellent. So, we'll see you soon when we start gluing and screwing. Say bye, Oliver. Bye. Okay, so as mentioned, first step. Um, gluing and screwing wood together to make those eight big posts we need for the build. Um, so we'll switch over to Oliver. Oliver's going to start on the first step. So Oliver, what are we doing first? We need to go lay out two pieces of wood on the sawhorse. That's it. Yep. Next step is what? What are we going to do? Glue and screw them together. So we need glue next, don't we? Okay. Glue Oliver. Thank you. Gorilla glue. Which is strong as gorillas. <laughs> okay. So that's what you're gonna do then. Yeah. Let's turn it over so it doesn't drip. Let's turn it around. 
Excellent. I'll do this one, y'all over here. Okay. Do a double layer of glue. We'll put them together, clamp them, and then screw. Cool. Yep. So we're going to flip these over now. Onto there. What we'll do is just start so it's not lined up, and we'll just slide it down so it moves that glue around a bit. Get the glue moved around. And obviously, um, the wood there is not straight, so yeah. Okay, so we've got clamps on now, we've got glue on. Just tidying up a little bit of wood glue around here, Oliver. Just because we've got a little bit of dripping where it squeezed the wood together. Oh, that'd be right. Okay, so if you follow me over it, just come, just pan this way, Oliver. Go, just come over there, Oliver. So we're going to pilot hull all the way down. Just with a small drill bit, we probably wouldn't need to do that, but um, it'll just make it easier driving the screws in. Yep. Especially if you're going to have a go, because you want to go doing it, don't you? Yeah. So we'll just do some small pilot holes, just to, so we can get the screw going. Mm -hmm. And then we'll, we'll count the sink. You see that there? Count the sink. Yep. Count the sink, so the screw sits under the surface of the wood. Um, so what we'll do now is, if you want to follow me down, Oliver, we'll just do a couple of um, pilot holes. The one there. And also, and we'll just do it maybe every 30 centimetres or so, all the way down. Yep. <laughs> Last two at the end. And there we go. So in a minute we'll get this, the... Um, Get the screws and drive those in. Okay. Okay. So we've got impact driver. Uh, got our screws from Screw Fix Oliver, um, and now we're going to drive the screws in, pull those bits of wood together, and hopefully we can then release some of the uh, clamps to use on the next piece of the wood because I don't have enough clamps. So let's just drive these in. Keep the wood Oops. nice and clamped together. And another one. Okay. So we should now better release that one a little, because that's nice and clamped together. And we'll use that clamp as we go down to clamp the wood Oops. clamp the wood together. Can't we? And then we can get the screws nice and tight in and get that wood nice and tight. Yeah. So that's obviously, that's one done. How many more to go, Oliver? 14. 14. So, next up, you can do it all over here. Yep. Excellent. See you in a minute. Yep. Go. So you do get the drill and then the counter sink as well in one. Nice. If anyone knows what Okay, quick update, uh, halfway in, um, Oliver's left me to go play on his tablet on Roblox, um, done, four so far, pretty happy with them, on to the fifth. Okay, uh, five in, and uh, yeah, I've run out of these screws. Seventy mil screws. Oliver didn't order enough screws, um, so we've got the five. Done the five. A few more to go. So, uh, quick trip to screw feet. Get some more screws, and we'll do the rest. Okay, quick update. Um, let's have a look. 
to the final one. There we go. There's Matilda. <laughs> so we've got all done now. All eight of them done. Still no sign of Oliver. Oliver's on Robux, isn't it, Matilda? Yeah. Um, so we'll let them dry overnight and uh, measure them come tomorrow. Bye. Welcome back to day two. Day two is about measuring up, cutting as wood, building the structure. So come on in Oliver. So I made us plans, as you can see there. Did a nice little drawing. So if you step back Oliver. So we're gonna go here. 216 centimetres up here. Just to meet that bit of wood up there. And then 95 centimetres across there. Okay, so we will get the wood measured and we'll start going. We are at our homemade workbench and we are cutting the wood with our mighty saw. Mighty saw or mighty saw? Mighty saw. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, we're back inside, freezing outside, weren't all of us? Yeah. gloves on. Back inside, we've got the bits cut so far we can get crack on with, build the side bits. Um, had a problem with the corner brackets because we've got the screws in the wood. My mitre saw is just a wood only, it's not a wood and metal. So we'll have to redo that at some point, that's not a problem, okay? Let's crack on. Yay!
Okay, so we've got the structure built now. The main structure built. I'm going to finish off with um, just routing the holes. So these holes, I'll just use the router just to give them a oops, just to give them a smooth finish. Okay, so structure's done now, built all the woodwork, cut all the holes, drilled everything in, um, we're all done. So, Oliver. In the next episode, we will install the safety bars and paint the power rack. Yeah, exactly. Smash the subscribe button and hit the like button. Excellent. We'll see you in the next episode.